Now I'm going to be taking a concealer brush and I'm going to be taking uh, the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. So I just want to take something that's white. And I'm going to be putting that underneath the brow. Okay, and then right here, you want to continue the curve going down. And then you just want to meet it up into your crease. Just like that. And then, so you don't want to put it out further than that. So you're just going to fill in the entire lid with the white. And then uh, make sure to blend it. Okay, next I'm going to be taking Starshine by Jessie's Girl and it's just a shimmery white shadow. And then I'm going to place that with a, a large um, flat shader brush right underneath the brow. Okay. And now I'm going to be going in with Chrome Yellow by MAC, which is it's a pro color. Um, but if you don't have that, you can just use another bright shadow. And I'm going to be taking a small um, flat synthetic brush. And this is the color here. Oh, and it's also, I don't know if I mentioned, it's a matte color. So you want to take something that's matte. And so I'm going to go over here. And then I'm just going to start to... Uh, line. This is why you want a flat brush and then you want something that's rounded because um, you're not blending this at all. You're just creating the shape. So I'm just going to fill in this part here and you don't want to go on to your skin. You just want to keep it onto the white. the shape in like that. You can just take a, a larger uh, flat shader brush and then just start to fill in the rest and then when you get out here to the edge you just need to brush it out. It doesn't need to be a I'm perfect taking, shape. Um, LA Splash uh, Splash Proof Sealer Eyeshadow Sealer Base. And it just looks like this. This is really good for um, adhering glitter. I've never tried it on eyeshadow but I'm sure it works just as well. So I just put that on the back of my hand and I'm just going to pick it up with my ring finger. And then I'm just going to be pressing that down. You don't want to uh, rub it, you just want to dab it on to the yellow only. Okay, and now I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to be picking up that glitter color. And I'm just pressing that down onto the yellow only. Put a piece of tape down and I angled it up towards the end of the eyebrow. And I'm just going to be taking a black gel liner. I'm just going to be using that. Um, that one's by Wet n Wild. I'm just going to be doing a regular wing right now. So I'm just going to line the top lash line and then I'm going to bring this out over here uh, about midway. So midway between the end of the eyebrow and then the um, end of my lash line. Okay, so you can see I went ahead and I did a little swirly mark right here, and then um, to 
do that I actually went in with the um, with the liquid liner. So this is um, by Jordana. I wouldn't necessarily recommend this because it's not as dark um, as I would like. It's you have to go over it about three times for it to get really dark. And then on the lower lash line, I went back in with the gel liner. So I just met it up right there. And I'm going to take a little bit more of that. And then I'm just going to bring this line down a little bit. So you just want to make sure that you're using a flat um, slanted brush. With this uh, liquid liner. And I'm just going to be putting a dot, just leave a little bit of space, and then just put a dot. Like I said, you have to go over it a few times for it to be dark enough. So I'm going to go back in with that gel liner and the flat angled brush. And I'm going to do the line down here. So you just want to kind of come down at an angle so that this right here looks like a V. And I'm just going to try to do a little swirly mark. Like that. And I'm just going to do another little sweepy mark. Alright, they don't look the same, but like I said, they don't need to be symmetrical. Um, so I am just going to go in, I'm going to go back in with the, um, this. Okay, so I just darkened up the little swirly mark there, and then I added this extra line here. All you need to do is just pull your skin taut like that, and then, let me show you the other brush that I used. And then just go in, and then just bring it out like that. And then you're going to go back in with your pointy brush, whatever it is that you're using. And then just do a couple of dots there. You can do as many dots as you like, it doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to do another dot here. Okay. Okay, so next I'm going to go in with a little bit of mascara on the lower lash line, like that, and then on the cheeks, I used Posy by MAC, which is a nice bright bubblegum pink, and now I'm going to go back in with uh, Starshine by Jessie's Girl, which is the white highlighter that I used underneath the brow. It's not going to look as bright though because I'm not putting it over white like I did underneath the brow bone. So I'm going to take some of that and then I'm just going to push it down on the top of my cheek cheekbone. I'm just going to press it and then drag it down. And then you can put a little bit down the bridge of your nose. I mean the center of your nose and then on the top of your um, the Cupid's bow area, wherever you like, and now I'm going to be going in with Stila's lip liner in number 10, which is just a dark red, and I will be using um, a Red Revival by Maybelline, which is a nice uh, blue based red. So I'm going to do that, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do for the lips is I'm going to use this LA Colors um, Brilliant Shine Glitter Gloss. Uh, I don't think it has a name. Anyway, it just looks like this. And then it's just going to add even more shine. More glitter.
Um, and you don't want to get it too close to the edges because then it's going to bleed. Um, it'll make your lipstick bleed. So that is it for the look. If you guys have any questions, let me know.